What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a little Life is Strange news in that the Life is Strange Remastered Collection has been delayed till early 2022. Now, I do have some thoughts about it, uh, and I want to you know give you guys my thoughts on it, but let's first read over their update. They posted this over on Twitter, which if you guys want to follow me, Podcast Now 15, but that's second to all this. Hello, Life is Strange fans. We have some important updates for you on our upcoming release dates. And as soon as I saw this, by the way, I got so terrified, but it's mainly okay. After Life is Strange True Colors releases on September 10th, we're happy to announce that the Life is Strange Wavelength DLC starring Steph Gingrich will release on September 30th. We will be revealing a first look via new trailer tomorrow, which is very cool. Wonder if Chloe will be in it. However, due to the ongoing challenges of the worldwide pandemic, we want to alleviate any additional pressure on the Life is Strange team by giving more time between the release of True Colors and the Remastered Collection. For this reason, we've made the difficult decision to delay the release of Life is Strange Remastered Collection for all platforms, PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Stadia, and Switch until early 2022. We hope you understand. Thank you for the patience and overwhelming support. For more information, uh, please keep an eye on our official channels, the Life is Strange team. So, okay, here's the deal. I do want to say a couple things. Uh, these are just my thoughts. These do not speak for everybody, right? First thing I want to say is no big deal, right? Delays are okay. Um, this has been a horrible year for delays, yes, and I understand if people hate them. I mean, in a way, I hate them too. As I always say, as long as the game comes out in a better condition, with the delay than it would have normally, the delay was worth it, right? That's kind of the thing that I've been saying for several months, if not years now, on these channels. With that being said, and, and early 2022 at least gives us a little area, right? January, February, March. I honestly think to like February when I think of that. It could be January. It could be the first two weeks of January, possible. A lot of games, most games, don't come out in like the first week or two of January. Normally, it's uh, like the second half, but there are examples of that, you know, not being the case, okay? One thing I do want to say in terms of uh, taking shots, and again, these are not, I'm not going after people that work there. I actually think Deck Nine is, <laughs> I'll make a hot take. I think Deck Nine is a better developer in a lot of ways than Don't Not, okay? That's just an opinion from what we've gotten so far and where Don't Not has kind of gone, all right? And it's not really taking a shot at either. But one thing I will say is, number one, the order of releases of these things makes zero sense to me. Zero sense. And number two, it is a pretty big delay in terms of the amount of time that it's been pushed. So let's say the first one first. It's actually kind of what I tweeted as well, where it's like, I don't, and I've, I've actually always said this, right? I've actually made videos talking about this in the past where it's like, I don't know why you would do the remastered collection after the next game in the series comes out. Now, like, they're all so different, right? Well, Life, life is Strange, before the storm and farewell episode right those are all kind of the same group and that's arguably why it's coming out in the remaster collection life is strange 2 very different and obviously years later and then true colors obviously different and then years later right but like people and i've said this this is one of my main things people are going to be playing these games to get ready for the new one you know like and and sure, it's not something that everybody does. And maybe it's like a content creator kind of point of view where it's like, yeah, that's something that people do. You see it online. People will do live streams. People will do like playthroughs of it to get ready for the night. But like, I don't know about you guys, but like I tend to do that as well. I do it more for movies than games because I, I actually don't replay games uh, very often. It, it's actually very specific games that I play more than once. But Life is Strange is one of those. So like I... And here's the deal. I would have played one and before the storm again before I would never play two again. That's just my personal opinion. But like one and before the storm, I would play again before this game just to kind of get me warmed up, like get me back in the Life is Strange world that I love. Right. But like you're doing it after. So like for me, per like I've already I had already made the decision. I, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to play. I'll play True Colors, and then I'll play the Remastered Collection after, which, again, makes no sense, but that's the way that they did it, okay? Now, so that's, I guess, the first thing. Like, it never really made sense to me why the order was the order that it was in the first place. Second thing is that push, and, again, I'll make, like, a direct shot at them in terms of, like, why did they do so much? Like, why do they put so much on their plate? So, like, I mean, I get ambition, but, like, you're doing a brand new game, okay, True Colors. Now, it's not episodic, but it kind of is, but you're obviously getting it all in one. 
But if the game's like 10, 12 hours, like that's a that's a it's a triple A game. It's a big game, and I'm sure it took them years to make. So you did that. You wanted this wavelength DLC, which I'm like I'm looking forward to because I want to play as Steph and I want to do these different and you know the rumors of of maybe Chloe. But even if she's not in it, you know who cares? I, I think it's still gonna be kind of cool. All right. So like I'm excited for that. But that was almost like an add-on. Like maybe they didn't think they were gonna do that at first and they threw that in. I don't know. But then like the way they're doing it. So True Colors comes out the 10th, Wavelengths comes out the 30th, which replaces the Remastered Collection, and then the Remastered Collection comes out early 20. So, like, was the order, here's my question, was the order reversed originally and we didn't know it? Was True Colors supposed to come out the 10th, Remastered Collection the 30th, and then the Wavelengths DLC sometime, like, later in the year or early the next year? Is it weird to you that a game that was supposed to come out on September 30th, in another month and a half, gets delayed for at minimum three and a half months. Is that odd to you? Because it's odd to me. Be like, because it's just about to come out. And like, it's, you had trailers and you've shown us it. And it's like, how, how does that happen? Uh, I, I don't get it. I don't, and obviously, maybe the polish. Like, well, like, I do understand it. But like, I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a weird thing i'm not again like this is not an attack i am not crying about this i'm not upset about it um you know i'm gonna play all of these when they release the first day no matter like when it is like september 10th is bookmarked like it's it's reserved for true colors and probably the 11th as well wavelengths dlc well good for you you now have september 30th to yourself like that's what i'm doing that day and then whatever day the remastered collection comes out i will replay all of them like that's what I'm going I just don't get the order and I don't get how like we're just about to get them and you may have reversed the order internally and then pushed one several months when I didn't even think that was possible so it's kind of odd but it's something fun I think to talk about take none of this too seriously and let's all move on let me know what you guys think as always, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, leave a like on this video if you guys did like it, would really appreciate it. I do a brand new video on this channel every single day, and so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.